Hello friends, welcome to my channel Mystery Camp. Today I am going to explain 2020 animated adventure comedy movie called Dream Builders. Have you ever wondered how your dreams are made? Those scary nightmares that are better than horror films or the lovely paradise that make us forget about our worries. Little Mina also wants to know and she gets lucky enough to meet the dream builders. Mina is a young girl who lives in the countryside along with her loving dad John. They only have each other since their mother left them to pursue her singing career. Mina is getting used to this new life because of her father's loving and sweet nature. Every day she gets up early in the morning and, and eats her breakfast with her pet hamster Vigo. John does all the house chores like cooking and cleaning but he always manages to spare some time for her daughter. They were having some great time in the garden when John received a sudden message. It's from his girlfriend Helene. She has sent him a picture that her daughter Jenny clicked with him and Mina. John is happy to see the formation of his new family and tells Mina that she and Jenny already looks like sisters. But Mina does not like Jenny's obsession with her phone. She gets even more upset when John tells her that Helene and Jenny are coming to live with them. They reach there soon and Jenny is already giving the negative vibes. As soon as she steps in, she starts complaining about not having good internet signals. Then she insults John for having excessive party here. She excitedly meets Mina but also makes fun of her for not knowing how to pose for a selfie. John advises the girls to share a room so their bond can get stronger. But Jenny starts dominating over Mina. She takes away her bat and orders Mina to get rid of the spiders in the room. She also feels disgusted by Vico and forces Mina to lock it in a cage. Later that night, Mina cooks casseroles with John and by seeing them, Jenny starts missing her own dad. She suddenly gets a call from him but he only dialed her mistakenly. Jenny hides her tears and gets to the dinner table. Like a spoiled kid, she does not want to eat what's served and starts insisting on ordering sushi. John wants Jenny to settle in here as soon as possible, so he orders sushi immediately. Jenny keeps taking food pictures to post them on Instagram and it makes Mina more angry. She starts eating so her father scolds her for wearing Jenny's picture. Mina starts screaming but John tells her to calm down and put on her imaginary happy hat. After such a tiring day, Mina falls asleep as soon as she hears the bat. Mina sees the same dream as last night, in which she flies around on a broken chess board. Suddenly, she falls down and notices a hole in the wall. On the other side, some weird blue creatures are arguing over something. Mina also steps out and her jaw drops on seeing what's on the other side of her dream. The blue creature named Kev advises her to go back to her area as soon as possible, but Mina wants to explore more. Kev tells her that she is not allowed to get out of her dream stage and must go back. Suddenly, the dream inspector comes for a visit, so Mina hides away immediately. She accidentally slips and falls in her father's dream stage. Other dream builders like Gav are preparing to shoot John's dream. They have received the scripts and the props are ready. The dream builder mistakes Mina as one of the dream actors and gives her the script and a cake to give it to John on his dream stage. He is dreaming about his birthday in the middle of the Sahara Desert and Mina is supposed to bring the cake. But she accidentally gives him the anchovies and John eats them out of curiosity. He loves the taste and the music starts playing. The dream ends and all the actors take off their costumes. Mina gets out too and Gav finds her. He tells her that everyone has their own dream stage and the dream builder creates the dream according to the assigned script. But the dreamer should never know about this place. Moreover, if Mina does not wake up in time, she will not be able to do it again. Gav puts her back in her dream stage and wakes her up by pulling the lever. The next day, Jenny starts complaining about Vigo again and tells her mom to send the hamster to the shelter. Mina protests against this idea but no one listens to her. Suddenly, her father steps in and starts looking for anchovies. He says that he ate them in his dream and now he has developed a liking towards them. This makes Mina realize that everything she dreamed last night was real and she can affect people's mind by interrupting their dreams. When John also does not support her in Vigo's case, Mina decides to use the power of dreams. 
Once she falls asleep and enters her dream, she starts calling for Gaff. She requests him to help her save Vico, but Gaff refuses immediately. She starts crying and Gaff feels sorry for her. He has never seen her like that before and agrees to help her only this time. He gets on the train with Mina and stops at Jenny's dream stage. She is dreaming of being a celebrity performing for her fans. Gaff makes a huge hamster robot and uses a remote to control it. The hamster is sent in Jenny's dream and dances with her like a star. Gaff also teaches Mina how to use the dream controlling machine and she pulls the levitation lever. Suddenly some of the parts of the stage falls down but the hamster saves Jenny. The dream ends and before leaving, Gaff introduces Mina to his old friend Milo. Milo is throwing all the used props down which is called the dream trash. Anything that goes down there never comes back. Mina gets back to her dream stage and wakes up. She gets really shocked to see that Jenny is playing with Vigo and finds it cute now. However, she is also confused. She takes a lot of pictures of Vigo and posts them on her Instagram but panics afterwards. She runs to her room to gather her emotions. Mina picks up Jenny's phone to check the likes on Vigo's pictures. But she comes across the insulting comments Jenny posted about Mina's sweater. Mina feels heartbroken and gets determined to change the reality. She builds a blanket tent around her bed and makes plan on how to use dreams to fix Jenny. After falling asleep, she starts pursuing Gav to help her again. He refuses continuously because he does not want to end up like Milo. He once broke the dream world rules and he was demoted to janitor position. Mina keeps repeating how mean Jenny is. Her personality needs to be fixed for the peace of their family. Gav gets convinced and agrees to help for the last time. They get to Jenny's dream stage and makes changes in the script according to Mina's plan. The dream shows a fashion store owner trying to sell Mina's sweater to Jenny. She keeps insisting that the sweater is the latest fashion but Jenny does not agree. Gav uses the deja vu button to replay the dream again. Mina starts pressing the button continuously until Jenny accepts the sweater. Mina wants to replay again, just to be sure, but the inspector reaches there. He looks around to find Mina but she escapes in time. Once the inspector leaves, Mina gets back to her dream stage and wakes up. Jenny is wearing her sweater to click some pictures and she posts them on her Instagram. After a moment, she realizes her weird changes and starts panicking. Jenny feels like she is going to be mad because of the unexpected changes in herself. She wants to go live with her dad instead. Seeing her condition, Helene decides to move back to the city. She prioritizes her daughter's needs over anything and Jenny can't accept John's house as her home. John gets really sad on losing a family once again. He informs Mina everything and requests her to help Jenny pack the luggage. While doing that, Jenny finds Mina's diary and the drawings look exactly like her dream. She does not know how Mina did it, but she is ready to fight back. Jenny tells her mom that she does not want to move out anymore. Later that night, she dances with John like Mina used to. She also starts calling him dad and requests him to teach her chess. John also addresses her the same way he does to Mina. This makes Mina extremely jealous and she tears up the chess board and starts throwing around things. John tries to calm her down but does not listen and goes to sleep. After getting into the dream world, Mina escapes her stage again. Gav tries to stop her but she does not listen and messes up Jenny's dream. She creates a lot of spiders followed by a giant spider to scare Jenny. Due to the intense situation, the dream stage starts malfunctioning and the spider loses control. The whole stage is disintegrating and even the inspector can't save it. Mina hangs down on a corner and tries to save Jenny as well. But her hands slip and Jenny falls in the dream trash. Gav finds Mina and sends her back to her own stage. As soon as Mina wakes up, she rushes to Jenny's side to check on her. She feels lifeless. The doctor is called in and he declares that Jenny is in a coma now. Everyone gets sad by the news and Mina regrets her careless decisions. She ruined everyone's life. If she had behaved a little mature, things would have been different. Mina apologizes to her dad and promises him that she will fix everything. She grabs her phone and goes to bed. She feels difficulty in falling asleep, so she turns on her mother's singing videos. After a while, she opens her eyes lying on her bed, and her mother is sitting beside her. 
She hugs her in excitement and feels relieved to see that her mother has returned. But Mina soon realizes that it's all a dream. She sneaks away again and tricks Gav so she can head to save Jenny. Gav tells her that there is no way to come back from dream trash, but Mina has a plan. She notices a dream stage connected to the trash with a broken tower. She uses it to reach down and starts calling on Jenny's number. After looking around, she finds Jenny who is really angry at her but agrees to follow her so they both can get back home. Mina walks back to the tower but it's decomposing already. Now they have to find another way. Suddenly the giant spider starts following them so they rush to hide in a broken house. It's from one of Jenny's dream. It was the time when Jenny's parents used to fight every night. Her dad believed that Jenny is the cause of their arguments and he wanted to get rid of her. Mina mentions her own mother and said she and Jenny's dad left because they loved themselves more than anything. If Mina gets a chance, she will love to be Jenny's sister. Hearing this, Jenny hugs her and forgets the old grudges. It's time to love on. They get out of the house and Mina notices a dream making machine. It may help them but the spider is after them again. Mina tells Jenny to pull the levitation lever. As she does that, the spider and the giant chess piece start flying. Mina arranges them to form a ladder and they start climbing but the spider is still after them. Gav notices them from the top and jumps down to help them. He gives the cutter to Mina and she cuts off the spider wires. Once the monster is destroyed, Mina climbs up to the stage along with Jenny and Gav. She says goodbye to the dream builders and goes back to her stage. After a while, she anxiously wakes up and rushes to Jenny's bed. She is back to normal. Actually, everything is way better now. The girls have learned about each other's ups and downs. Now they can bond together to form an actual family. Some dreams are too sweet to leave, but you must wake up to make them a part of reality. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching. If you like it, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel.